Welcome to Train Sim World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right hand corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left and right. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the driver's seat. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now, then return to the game when ready. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature are an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. This train is ready to go. Push the indicated handle forwards to get... This part of the Cornish main line runs for roughly 44 miles and runs commuter services between Penzance and St Austell. It also covers commuter services along the St Ives branch line. This particular train is the BR Class 150-2 diesel multiple unit in Regional Railways livery and consists of two cars. Train Sim World 2 allows you to ride and drive from a selection of camera views. Let's take a look now while exploring this train. You've only explored a small area here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to the West Cornwall Local. Take control of moving commuters and tourists across gorgeous Cornish scenery. 
past lapping waves on beautiful coastal beaches, through scenic countryside to bustling towns, exploring the St Ives branch line and local industry. Make sure to refuel and use the carriage washers. Along the way, don't forget to place route maps, place luggage on the carts, enjoy an ice cream and put up posters. This is the West Cornwall Local. Welcome to this introduction for the Class 150 Stroke 2 Multiple Unit in British Rail Regional Railways Livery. During this brief introduction, we will go through the basic start and stop procedures by taking this train into one of the sidings. Climb aboard to get started. First you need to take control of this cab. Switch the master key to unlocked to enable this cab for driving. Switch the headlights to day. Headlights are important in letting others around you know that this multiple unit is operational. Move the reverser to the forward position. That alarm is the AWS self-test system. You will need to acknowledge this before continuing. Press the AWS button now. Move the throttle to notch 1. Now move the train brake into the released position to release the br Move the throttle to notch zero, then apply the train brake to braking one to bring this train to a controlled stop at the objective.
now open the dispatch menu and contact the signaller to gain access to the yard.
set the reverser to the off position. Set the headlights to off. Press the engine stop button to shut down the engine. Finally switch the master key to locked to deactivate this cab and complete the shutdown procedure. Good work! That is the basics covered. You are ready to head out there on your own. If you have any more questions, a manual can also be obtained that provides more details about the full functionality of this multiple unit. Welcome to this BR Class 37 locomotive in British Rail Rail Freight livery. During this brief introduction, we will go through the start and stop procedures. Before we climb aboard the locomotive, it is important to make sure the manual junctions are set correctly. Climb aboard the locomotive. Switch the battery isolation to normal. A lot of your time will be spent in the driver's seat. Insert the master key to activate the driver's controls. Set the reverser as indicated in preparation to start the engine. Go ahead and start the locomotive. Now use the reverser to set the direction of travel. Lights and head codes are important. Set the handbrake as indicated. Increase the throttle to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. Turn off the throttle to maintain speed.
on this cab to allow you to switch to the opposite cab. Turn off the headlights. Set the reverser to off. Take out the master key. Now prepare the route out onto the main line by correctly setting the manual junctions. Sit in the driver's seat in the opposite cab and prepare the local for driving.
Good work. That is the basics covered. A manual can be obtained that provides more details about the full functionality of this locomotive.